Okay, so here we are gaming once again on Linux Kubuntu. Today we are playing Skyrim, except this time we are playing it with mods. So for this first run, I tried to keep it pretty simple. I picked three of the most common mods I found in the Steam Workshop. The first one is going to be Pure Waters. The other two are Town Enhancements for Whiterun and Riverwood. So we'll go ahead and get this loaded up here. And I can already tell there is something wrong. This doesn't look like the mod loaded correctly. Yeah, there's definitely supposed to be more foliage inside of Whiterun. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like the pure waters may have loaded. That water looks better, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. This isn't a good start to the video, but we'll, uh, I'll play around with it here a little bit. Maybe you, uh, when you run on Linux, you only have to load one mod at a time. But let's... Let's see what happens. I may... Let me quit the game. I'll reload it, and we'll see what happens. But before we do that, I do want to fast travel to Riverwood, because I loaded both mods. I loaded the improvements for Whiterun and Riverwood, so it's I'm pretty sure the Whiterun mod didn't load correctly, so we'll fast travel to Riverwood, and we'll see if that mod loaded correctly. And this is not right either. Yeah, something's going on here. I think what I'll do, like I said before, I'll quit the I'll quit the game and try to reload them one more time and see if that works. Okay, so let's try this load here one more time. I didn't do anything different. All I did was quit out of the game and go back into it. So we'll see if this works. And, okay, I think we're getting somewhere. It looks like that did work. Well, that's good news. Yeah, there's definitely more foliage. Alright, we may be in business. So, like I said, we have three mods installed right now. The Pure Waters mod and the Town Improvements for White Run and Riverwood. So I still can't tell if the Pure Waters mod is working. It looks about the same, so I'm not 100% sure. But we know for sure the White Run mod definitely worked. Yeah, there's definitely more trees. Yep, so that is a good sign. So now that we have these three loaded... Well, I guess before I add any more, I'll check Riverwood. See if that also loaded in. Then I may play around. We'll add a couple more in just to see. I don't want to push this too far because we're already kind of pushing the limits here running Skyrim on Linux through the Proton compatibility tool. So I don't want to push it too hard. I don't want to, you know, blow up the game. Okay, so let's go ahead and fast travel to Riverwood and see what we got. Alright, that's a good sign. Okay think we're in business. That looks like River Riverwood loaded also. So we have three successful mods. What I'll do now, I'll quit the game, I'll subscribe and install a few more from the Steam Workshop, and I'll just try it piecemeal. I'm also, I'm trying to keep this video pretty short. I don't want to do like an entire in-depth, you know, Linux, Kubuntu, Steam Workshop compatibility. That would be way too crazy. But at least you know now, at least you can kind of improve the looks of Skyrim. And, I mean, it's a good sign. If if it gets this far, you may be able to go crazy and get it, you know, 4K, but who knows. Well, uh, I'll quit the game, and we'll, we'll try a couple more, see what we can do. Okay, so I added one more mod here. This one is going to be Skyrim Weather Beautification. 
It's supposed to improve the weather. I think it reduces rain and improves the skybox look. So I can't remember exactly what the previous skybox looks like, but it gives me hope that the previous mods worked. So we'll take a look at some different sky views and see if it looks any better or not. I can't really tell from here, so we, what we may have to do is wait till nighttime and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll fast travel to White Run. Hopefully, by the time we get there, it's going to be nighttime. And yep, it looks like we're okay. That skybox looks better. I mean, it's good news that White Run looks a heck of a lot better. There's definitely more foliage. We'll go ahead and sneak some meat here. Just foraging for a few berries while we're at it. Okay, so that takes care of four mods. I'll try a couple next. Usually what I'd like to add is the improved females, and I'll try a companion also. That way we kind of cover all the bases. So I'll go ahead, we'll quit the game, reload it one more time, and see if we can get the uh, improved female looks and and a, uh, you know, a, a custom follower. Everything all right? Okay, so we got our mods loaded. Let's try to load our save game one more time and see if we have any uh, any more beautiful ladies in the world of Skyrim here. So we're in White Run. She looks the same. The Asalda, I'm pretty sure, is the same. Hmm, this one may not have loaded correctly. Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna try the reload trick. We're gonna quit. Just reload the standard save one more time and see if it picks up the mod. Okay, so let's try this load one more time and see if we have beautiful ladies and... okay. She definitely looks different. A little bit more makeup. I think it worked. Yep. Alright, I think we're in good shape. Let's go outside. See if it affected the other... Beautiful ladies of Skyrim here. Where is Yasalda? There they are. Ugh. Okay, she looks better. Her face kind of looks slightly off, but that may just be part of the mod. Okay, yeah, they definitely have more makeup. I think... Okay, I think we're in good shape. Okay, so that should be, I can't remember what count we're up to, four or five completed mods. So we have the Pure Waters, Improved White Run, Improved Riverwood, the Improved Female Looks, and the Weather Modification. And I'll keep a list, well, when I post this video, I will write a list in the description of all the mods I used. Janessa definitely looks better, but I did load the... Ella companion mod, which is one of the top mods, and I don't see her in here. I think she's supposed to be in the Drunken Huntsman. So what we may have to do, we'll have to do the standard reload trick. We'll have to quit, reload the save, and see if she pops up. I do remember, even when I played with mods on Windows, I'm pretty sure I had to do this exact same trick. So, whoop, almost got caught, uh picking up that item from the shopkeep there but yeah we'll go ahead we'll quit reload see if we can get our companion to load in here okay let's reload this save one more time go back into the drunken huntsman at least according to the mod description i read that is where our companion ella is supposed to be so let's check it out see if she loaded all right Okay, that's good news. I'm slightly disappointed in the, uh, I mean, she looks great, but in the mod picture, she had a little bit more of a slinky outfit on, but, uh, okay. So now that we have some mods loaded, let's actually go outside of town. We'll see if we can fight a few things and actually test some of these out. I kind of want to see, too, the performance of this follower character to see if she can actually attack monsters and whoa there is a dead giant there i don't think i've ever seen that before that is pretty nuts did that guard just loot his body 
Oh well, let's uh, <laughs> let's keep on going here. But yeah, like I was saying before, I do want, I want to test the how the companions attack and see if they actually work properly. So yeah, I still can't tell if the pure water is mod loaded. The water looks good to me, but maybe if somebody else can comment. I'm not sure. I believe too this follower is supposed to be pretty overpowered. I do kind of want to check what she has on her. What do you want me to carry? A staff of fireballs. Is that it? Okay, I guess that's it. All right. What is it? Uh, nope. Don't want to give her commands. Nope. Let me exit that. Anything else? According to what she has on her, she has an arrow, or you know, a uh, bow and arrow. So we'll we'll see if we can fight a couple monsters here. To fully test out. It looks like she's following okay. So we'll go down this road here, see if we can find something to fight. Usually there's a couple thieves on this road. I don't really want to fight a giant. I don't think my follower is that overpowered, but I guess we will if we have to. Keep on going down this road. Should have seen something by now. There's usually. Oh, there we go. Let's see if we can attack this thing. And whoa! Oh boy. She, uh, she creamed that thing. <laughs> Must be that, uh, that staff of fireball she's using. So that's good. At least she can attack. Let's see if she keeps on following me. Pick up some cotton. Well, I mean, to me, this is a huge success already. So, you know, we're running on Linux through Proton. And the Steam Workshop mods are working fine. I'm sure if you get into some of the more crazy ones, it may start throwing things off. But that's the same with Windows anyways. So, if you... I'm pretty sure if you stick with the standard mods... And, you know, all the ones I picked here are the top rated or most subscribed, then you should be perfectly fine. I don't see why it wouldn't work. And just to review, basically what I did, so I'm running Linux Kubuntu, and it's the 20.04 LTS version. I'm running Proton 7.0-3, and, you know, just download Skyrim as you do normally. What you're going to do... If you've used the Steam Workshop on Windows, it's identical. You go to the Workshop, pick whichever mod you want, click the Subscribe button. It's going to automatically load it once you run up Skyrim. And the only problem I run into, is, as you saw, all you have to do, if it, the mod doesn't load, just quit the game, reload it a couple times, and it should pop up fine. So it seems like every time you added a new mod, you had to do that trick. So if you added it, and it didn't load the first time, quit the game, reload it, you should be good to go. So that should be about it. Thanks for watching.